Hi, and welcome to another episode of Fresh Diamond. Well, have you ever opened the local administrator group on a cloud native device and found a list of strains as one 12 numbers instead of the actual names? You look at it for a second and it feels like Windows tried to translate something but just gave up while doing so. Those unreadable shits have been there around for years. You add an entra group or an entra wall in general to a local group and instead of seeing noticing the real name, you get a random identifier, the shit, that tells you absolutely nothing. And that's exactly what we are going to look at today. Not only why this kept happening, but how Windows is also finally fixing it, or the team behind the future. Because after years of showing weird sits, Windows has finally learned to translate those entry group and roles into names properly. And I get it, it might sound like a small change, but for anyone managing cloud native Windows devices, it matters a lot because this is one of the most requested futures in years. Before we dive in, as always, if you like these kind of deep dives, deep dives, like, subscribe, and spread the word about this new Entra SIT translation future I'm going to talk about for the next 10 minutes. All right, let's rewind a bit and examine how Windows was handling those external SITs before this future arrived. For years, adding an Entra group to a local group felt incomplete. It felt a little bit weird. Instead of it shows you the real name. Windows displayed a weird shit, like you've seen here. The same thing happened for the built-in roles, like the device administrator and the company administrator, the global admin. Those two roles were added automatically during an Android join. But on the device, as you can see here again, they just showed up as a couple of random sits, as some numbers. If you want to know who those sits represented, of what it represented, you had to dig. You need to use PowerShell scripts, registry lookups, registry look or community tools like the one from Oliver Kieselbach. He created a tool called the SIT Converters, which converted the SITs. I guess everyone had their own workaround. But what makes this even more stranger or more weird is that Microsoft already had a fix in place for users. Let me explain, because when you added an Entra user to a local group, just an Entra user to the administrator group, for example, Windows instantly translated that SIT into the real user UPN, which is pretty good. And you can also just edit the user instead of the SIT to that group. That future, that fix arrived years ago. But groups and roles, transla translating those, that was left behind. No automatic translation, no automatic lookup, just a raw shit staring back at you with a big smile on his face. And that gap has been there from the start. And, well, some good news, because it seems that this is finally changing when looking at the code in the Winsider Insider preview build. Let's examine what changed and what Microsoft did to solve this funny issue. In one of the latest Windows Insider Futures, build 27881, Microsoft quietly, well, not quietly, but they introduced a new internal future called AAD, Azure AD, SIT to name version 2 support. I guess the V2 tells you. That's a version two of something that was already in place, the user translation of the SIT. It extends the same logic that already worked for the users. And now it seems to also include Entra groups and even the well-known Intune Entra roles. So 
for the first time ever, winners can now directly ask Entra who the Entra group or all shit belongs to. And the funny thing and the best thing, Entra actually responds on that question. This isn't a, just a cosmetic update. It's a real change in how Windows understands Entra identities. So let's examine how this translation works in real life and what happens behind the scenes when Windows meets such an unknown shit. As you can see here as well, when Windows encounters a shit it does not recognize, it starts by checking the local identity cache at the identity store cache registry keys, as you can see here. If that identity, that shit, or that cache isn't found there, Windows creates a secure lookup request. And of course, signed with the device entry certificate. It needs to be secure, so you need to sign the request. That request is sent to the entra sit to name endpoint. I'm not going to spell it out loud, but as you can see here, it ends at sit to name. I guess that's what it does, converting the sit to a name or name to a sit. So from there on, entra will validate the device. It looks up the object requested and returns the display name, object type, and the principal type as well, as you can see here. Windows stores that information locally. So any additional future lookups are going to be instant, even offline. So from that point on, when you open the local computer group and open uh, the administrator's group, for example, you no longer see that weird shit that as one 12 something, you actually see the proper Entra group or all name, readable, clear, and how it should have been all along. Well, now that we know how the translation works, there is another interesting detail, how Windows reacts when Entra cannot resolve something. So when Entra cannot resolve the shit, not, cannot resolve the name, Windows is not going to make things up. It simply leaves the SID visible until it can actually resolve it. Maybe you put in the wrong SID, which shouldn't happen. But once it succeeds, maybe the device was offline. Maybe Entra had a moment for itself, just like Amazon did of had last week. But once it succeeds, that translation is added to the local cache. So if that group all is later removed in Entra, Windows will quietly remove or removes that entry from the local cache. So I guess it's time for 60 second Pets and Rent Turbo Edition because it, it, this session is called Pets and Rent. Do you know what's still weird? Microsoft broke the Windows recovery, the WinRE environment with our latest October build. They completely broke it. Keyboard stopped working, the mouse stopped working. You could boot into recovery, but you couldn't actually do anything. They eventually fixed it with an out of band update, which was broken as well. But come on, how do you even ship a recovery environment that doesn't even recognize the basic input? So. After months of dealing with remote wipe issues, which also involved the Windows recovery environment and with the broken Windows RI partitions, we are right back where we started. It's like a deja vu, but slower. And I guess it's a good thing that another CrowdStrike event isn't happening right now because half of us will be stuck staring at a lifeless recovery screen wondering why the mouse and cursor are frozen in place. So with the rent being over and we are on topic of saving time because this new Entra future will of is doing exactly that. No more guessing which shit belongs to which group, no scripts, no lookups. It just shows you the name. 
And if you want that same kind of time back in your life, when it comes to app updates and patching, that's where Patch My PC comes in. We will keep your apps updated in the background so you can spend your time on things that actually matter. And I'm not talking about the shit translation because that's also being fixed. So come to our website and book a demo and we will show you everything you really want to know. Let's get back then to some nifty, gritty, ruddy details and let's look what's actually really happening in the code. Because again, as mentioned before, I look at DL for, for fun. So let's look under the hood of how this AD SID feature works. Let's do what I was born to do. Look at DLL files for fun. So as you can see here as well, I already opened the ID tool. If you're not familiar with the ID tool, please check out one of our previous rent, pets, pets rent sessions because I'm explaining how to use that ID tool as well. But again, I opened up the ID tool and opened up the DLL files responsible for that future. The cloud app DLL and the Azure AD cloud app DLL. So as you can see here, I will just go to the flow a little bit quick, but just to give you a brief understanding of what's happening, because as you can see here, there are functions like convert sit to name and sit to name response powers. And yeah, just looking at those names, I, you already know what it does, convert the sit to a name and uh, the opposite name to the sit. So, well, in that same flow, if you just go through that flow bit by bit, piece by piece, just by opening each function in the IDA tool and connecting the dots, there is also, or you can also spot the validation step uh, I was mentioning previously, uh, the validate security principle type. That function makes sure that the object returned or requested is really a user, group, or a role. Previously, it only contained the user. And with this new addition, it checks if the user is a group or a role before it's sent over and before it's stored locally in the cache. So every request, every response, every cache entry follows that same path I'm just showing here. It's clean, efficient, and well, surprisingly well designed for something that used to be completely missing. And that new logic could indicate that Microsoft is working on something even more amazing. So the bigger picture, this change, this future, the AAD to SID future version two reshapes how Windows handles entry identities on cloud native devices. Maybe the next time a baseline or policy references an entry group, Windows will actually recognize it. No more mismatched names, no more random SID showing up in your administrator group or older local groups. So if you remember, well, I do, the moment when those baselines failed because the administrators didn't match the localized name, maybe this future could be part of fixing that big issue? Well, I hope it will. So here we are. After all these years, Windows can now finally read entry group names properly. If you are running the latest Insider Build 27881, or newer, open up your local administrator group and take a look, of course, when you have enabled it with the Vive tool, as I just showed you yet. And if you see the real names instead of those endless SIDs, you are now seeing the AAD SID to name version 2 support in action. It took a bit longer than expected, but maybe 10 years, but then again, it's finally coming. And in my opinion, that's worth celebrating. So, well, see you next patch event. Join over 8,000 organizations who trust Patch My PC to keep more than 25 million devices up to date. It's secure, automatic, and built to scale. See for yourself. Book a live demo with a Patch My PC engineer or start your free trial.